and welcome again to HBO Mailbox. I'm Mason Adams. I'm Carol Bradley. And we're back to answer more of your letters about HBO. On our last program, we read one disagreeing with some of the ratings on our movies. And the lack of them on others. Now, here's a letter from Sheila Case of Waukee, Iowa, about the HBO premiere film Draw. She writes, I do not understand why at least a PG wasn't put on it. TV Guide has it listed as strong language, sexual situations, and violence. Doesn't that constitute some sort of rating? We all expect a lot from ratings, and we're annoyed when they don't deliver what we expect. Uh, or aren't available. So, how does the rating system work? Here's a quick true or false quiz to help explain. HBO assigns ratings to all the movies we show. True or false? False. We don't rate any movies. The film industry's own rating board assigns them. Every movie must have a rating. False again. In fact, getting one is strictly up to the filmmaker. Some movies are released without ratings. Here's another. Nudity and violence automatically earn an R. False. Either could get a PG or the new PG-13. That's because there are no hard and fast rules that apply to all films with one exception. Harsh, sexually derived language always gets at least PG-13 or an R. One more. HBO premiere films don't have ratings because they're on cable TV. That's true. Because our own movies aren't shown in U.S. theaters, they aren't submitted to the ratings board. Instead, we provide advisories for most cable guides. And here on HBO, there's our monthly coming attraction show, Watch especially for the viewer caution light. It's your cue that a movie may not be suitable for all members of your family. Finally, keep in mind that any rating system is limited by the tastes and values of the times. So in answer to your question, Sheila, there's no PG on drop because it wasn't submitted for one. You did raise a good point, though. And because of it, this month's HBO premiere film, The Glitter Dome, will include an on-air advisory about adult content. You'll see it right before the movie begins. Uh, that's something new. So many thanks for writing, Sheila, and we hope to put more good ideas like yours to work in the future. Here's a letter about not necessarily the news. Seems that satire has drawn some fire. The clips and skits on this program are getting out of hand. Some of it borders on slander. It's unacceptable viewing in my house. E.D. Kilman, Hemet, California. Well, we forwarded your letter, Mr. Kilman, to our not necessarily the news comedy troupe, and here's their reply. Well, as you know, not necessarily the news, we try for a broad spectrum of humor, and of course we can't please everybody. We don't mean to offend on not necessarily the news, but one of the advantages of cable is we can be a little far out and take some chances that people can't on network. But I'm happy that millions of people do find our show funny. I'm also happy that we live in a society that allows us to do the kind of political satire that we do, and I'm sure you're happy to be living in a society that allows you to send in a letter expressing your views about... are watching not necessarily the news and our research shows that most are comfortable with its humor well on the other hand it's not for every taste of course the choice of whether or not to watch is always yours that's not necessarily true mason which brings us to our question for you who really decides what you're going to watch at your house here's how the viewers of colonial cable vision in revere massachusetts answered my father because he doesn't like us to watch. He wouldn't really allow us to watch something that had, like, strong language in it. My husband is an avid watcher of HBO. He loves movies. We're very, I'm very fortunate. I have two television sets. I have a big brother at home who, you know, says, you know, I'm watching this movie. You want to watch it? Fine. You're not watching anything else. It depends if he's home or not. Well, if it's a family gathering, usually the father does. Usually the one that pays the bills. Well, by the time I get home, my wife's ready to go to bed, so I can watch anything I want. My mother. Well, my father. <laughs> Sometimes he's kind of strict about that. We decide jointly, and we have two sets, so if we uh, don't like it, we each watch our own. <laughs> yeah, let me put it this way. If it's my choice tonight, it's hers tomorrow. You know? America, we all got to be fair. Our thanks to the viewers of Colonial Cablevision in Revere, Massachusetts, for being so candid. Now let's hear from you. Please write to us at HBO Mailbox, room 1016, 1100 6th Avenue, New York, New York, 10036. Until next time, then. We'll be looking for your letter.
on HBO Mailbox.